Hey there, Linux lovers. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a Linux distro that's definitely not for the faint of heart, but for power users, you're in for a treat. This is NixOS, a rock-solid operating system with a unique approach that'll test your skills but reward you in ways you never expected. So, grab a coffee, because we're about to explore what makes this distro so different. NixOS is an open-source operating system that you can download and use for free. It's got a lot going for it. Performance, security, and an impressive array of desktop environments to choose from, like GNOME, Plasma, and even Deepin, which I personally love. But don't let that friendly GUI fool you. Underneath the surface, it's a whole new ballgame, and if you're not comfortable with the command line, you might want to sit this one out. Now, before we get into what makes NixOS amazing, let's set some expectations. If you're new to Linux or you prefer everything to just work without much tinkering, NixOS might not be your best bet. I mean, let's be honest, this distro doesn't hold your hand. There's no point-and-click app store, no one-click installations for things like Spotify or Chrome. Instead, you'll be rolling up your sleeves, jumping into terminal commands, and maybe hitting a few roadblocks along the way. But if you're the type of person who enjoys problem-solving and you're comfortable with the Linux command line, NixOS can be incredibly rewarding. It's stable, secure, and once you have it configured to your liking, it'll run like a dream. So, what sets NixOS apart from other Linux distros? Well, the big one is its package management system. Unlike traditional Linux distros, NixOS uses something called the Nix Package Manager. It's designed to handle dependencies in a way that prevents conflicts between different versions of software, a huge plus for developers and tinkerers. With Nix, everything is isolated and predictable, which means fewer headaches down the road. Now, instead of a GUI-based app store, NixOS gives you access to an online package search at search.nix.org. Let's say you want to install Slack. You just type in the search, find the package, and it'll give you the exact command to run. Something like nix shell p slack. That's all it takes to get an open source package up and running. But here's where the challenge comes in. Here's where things get a little more complicated, though. If you need non-free software like Chrome or Spotify, NixOS doesn't install that by default. You'll need to tweak some settings before you can install these apps. Let's say you try to install Spotify using a similar command, nix shell p spotify It won't work right away because nix NixOS is configured to block non-free software out of the box. So what do you do? Well, you have a couple of options. You can temporarily allow non-free packages by setting an environment variable with export nexpkgs allow unfree equals one. Or if you want to make it permanent, you'll need to modify the configuration.nix file to include nixpkeys.config.allow unfree equals true semicolon. But don't think that's the end of the story. You might have to create extra directories and manually configure other settings. Yeah. It's not a walk in the park. And this is where NixOS can be frustrating, especially for newer users. Even after you've successfully installed an application, you might not see it in the desktop menu right away. Sometimes, you'll need to reboot the system for everything to show up properly. LibreOffice, for example. I installed it, and it didn't appear in the menu until I logged out and logged back in. And for me, that was a bit of a shock. I'm not used to rebooting after installing software in Linux. Once everything is set up, though, NixOS proves to be incredibly reliable. LibreOffice runs smoothly and it's just as powerful as on any other Linux distro. The same goes for other software you might need. Just be prepared for a few speed bumps along the way. It's all part of the NixOS experience. Now, I don't want to scare you off. Power users, this is where you come in. If you're comfortable with Linux and you want more control over your system, NixOS is perfect for you. I'd place it somewhere between Ubuntu and Arch Linux in terms of difficulty. It's not as complicated as Gen 2, but it's definitely not as user-friendly as Linux Mint or Ubuntu. NixOS shines when it comes to performance and stability. You get a rock-solid operating system that doesn't break easily. It's ideal for developers, system admins, or anyone who needs an OS that stays out of the way while offering incredible customization. Plus, with its declarative configuration, you can reproduce your system setup across different machines easily. That's a huge benefit for people who like to keep their environments consistent. So who is NixOS really for? If you're a power user or someone who loves the idea of managing packages and dependencies in a clean, isolated way, NixOS could be your new best friend. If you're a developer or a Linux enthusiast who's tired of the usual suspects like Ubuntu or Fedora, this distro will keep you busy in the best way possible. But if you're someone who just wants a Linux system that works out of the box, where you don't have to worry about package management or troubleshooting after every install, then maybe stick to the more beginner-friendly distros. Now, even though I'm a bit of a Linux enthusiast, I won't lie. NixOS challenged me, but that's exactly what I loved about it. It's not for everyone, but if you want an OS that's stable, secure, 
and rewards effort, then you should definitely give it a try. Plus, once you get past the initial learning curve, NixOS is an incredibly rewarding operating system to work with. So, here's my verdict. If you're looking for a challenge and want something different from the usual Linux offerings, NixOS is absolutely worth exploring. I'm keeping it on my system to learn even more about it, and I recommend you do the same if you're up for a bit of a ride. That's it for today's deep dive into NixOS. Have you tried NixOS before, or are you thinking about giving it a go? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux tips, reviews, and tutorials. See you in the next one.